Right. So that ends. Your turn now. So right. that ends. Uh, 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 research is very, uh, I would say, uh, I would say right now, my team accident to do not, uh, don't do the inferential statistics in terms of, you know, the free, frequent list. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, P probability <laughs> less than 0.05. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I don't want them to do that anymore yes. because there's a major pro pro drawback on that. Mm -hmm. So since 2016, the Bayesian uh, statistics, the tools mm -hmm. are available now. That was a very recent, only, you know, six, seven years ago. Mm -hmm. So right now with the R tool, right, it's called R, right? Yeah. So yeah. I'm asking all my uh, doctor students a uh, master student uh, do the statistics analysis uh, less uh, using the probability, you know, inferential statistics. Instead, I ask them, you know, at least I do one study uh, using Bayesian statistics. So actually, that is he's, uh, he's very courageous, you know. For his master's thesis, he used uh, uh, Bayesian, right? <laughs> right. So, be, so, uh, so that is. Uh, uh, do you regret? <laughs> no. <laughs> Many new things. Right? Yeah. Right. And I hope you know if you are uh, admitted a uh, uh, doctor program, right? So uh, your supervisor expecting you doing all your study in Russian. Okay. <laughs> so which means I want you to become the expert in Russian. In Then when someday you go back to Indonesia, everybody wants you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is my expectation for right, you. Okay. Right. Go ahead. All right. First thing first, um, I would like to introduce scientific inquiry assessment. Uh, scientific inquiry is really common, in, including in Indonesia and then in Taiwan. And then the second, the second term is Bayesian approach. I think for some people from Indonesia, it's really new, <laughs> including for us. Uh, last year, we don't know what is patient, but but we try to understand what is patient and apply in our research. So recently, uh, this research in 2019, they say scientific in education reform is happening in the world to facilitate scientific inquiry ability. And then we know that mastering scientific practice nowadays is really essential element in scientific literacy. And then it's also important 21st century skill. So you can see, in order to have the knowledge, you need to observe and then questioning hypothesis, and then you have the result and then conclusion. So the flow of how to gain the understanding is not only remembering. So it's like the process of knowledge. This is the recent reform of Taiwan. So reform effort in Taiwan is aid mandatory scientific inquiry and practice. And then they say inquiry based learning content, including Observing and questioning is also happening, like it's, it's common. And then number, number two is planning and carrying out investigation. It's normal. Number three is argumentation and modeling. It's really new in Taiwan, as I heard. And then number four is expression and sharing. So the new term here is argumentation and modeling. So as I know, it is the, research, the, the recent reform of Taiwan uh, about scientific inquiry process. And then we try to build some assessment items uh, in scientific inquiry assessment. And then we, we have questioning, experimenting, analyzing, and explaining. We use the older um, flow of scientific inquiry in our assessment. And then the next, the next term, we want to know. So we give the assessment to student, and then we analyze the assessment. Normally, if we have kind of assessment and then we we need to decide whether male is better than female whether city is better than country we use fee value right fee value is stand for probability value but many scientists say we have a problem with fee value what does it mean what is the true mean of v value i will discuss more what is v value mean so we understand V value is coming from normality. So it is why when we have V value, we need to have norma normality test. Because traditionally, whether the null hypothesis is significant, different or not, is decided using V value, which is we, we, we say frequency statistic. Because in frequency statistic, we have mean, and, and then we have 
standard deviation and something like that. However, we have relied heavily on V value. So this is one of uh, the illustration is from kind of YouTube like tutorial. Frequentist anal frequency statistic is objective and then Bayesian is kind of subjective. For example, if uh, one person, they make some research and then they compare between male and female. The first research, they say 50%, they are similar, so 50-50. Another, another people say 51%. The next research, they say 95%. According to frequency objective or V value, there are only one correct answer. So it is why in conclusion, we always say, my research is significant and other research is not significant. We compare to others. And then in Bayesian, we can say that 50% is true because in their context, like because they are in China, for example. And then another research is 51% because we are here in different issue. And then other is 90% because different different situation. It is that is the basic understanding. What is the difference between frequencies and then Bayesian? So we try to understand and then we try to apply Bayesian to our study. So the major reason is replic replication crisis. So I tried to capture this one. V value are viewed by many as root cause of so-called replication crisis, which characterized by prevalence of positive scientific finding that are contradict, they are different with, with previous study. Like I mentioned before, in my study, scientific inquiry between male and female is male is better, but other study is, is different. So some people even say we need to ban fee value from journal. And then Bayesian approach has become increasingly uh, popular as their posterior distribution carry more relevant information than fee value. So this is the logic. So maybe uh, Pakus understand Bayes theorem. So Bayes theorem uh, is kind of theorem in, in mathematics. So when we have prior belief, like the condition, and then we add some evidence according to the data, we will have posterior belief, which is the new belief about something, about issue. And then when you have another study, so your study is not is not 50% again. So you need to follow posterior belief. For example, the first time is 50-50, and then we have the data, and then we have posterior belief. It become 90, for example, 90 and 20. And then you, we have the new belief. And then other study need to, need to use 80% and 20% as the prior belief for their research. So it's like the progress. So this is, uh, the comparison between Bayesian and statist frequentist in a simple way. So you can see in frequentist statistic, the probability of observing the same or more extreme data, assuming that the null hypothesis is true in the populations. So in V value, the logic that if you have V value, it represents the population. It is why when you have V value, you need to assume what is the sample, how many, how many people in sample, and then how many in population, because it represents the population, in a whole population. But Bayesian, like I say, it is subjective belief. So you can say probability in my case is this person. It's not representing the whole population. So this is our finding. So we try to adopt Bayesian in our study, I think it's pilot study, which is really, maybe it's also biased, maybe it's wrong, but we try. So this is our finding. So Bayesian is always in probability, like probability of male to have better scientific inquiry assessment than female is true given the data evidence. So we didn't say in population, we only say given the data evidence. So base factor, so we use base factor, not V value. On gender is 
400 something, which means the observed data support 400 times more for alternative hypothesis. It's not say, like I mentioned, it's not sample and then represent the whole population. And then also number two, we have city students have better scientific inquiry assessment than country student in true given the data evidence. So this, uh, this is the base, base theorem um, theory. So probability of hypothesis is true given the evidence. So this is our, our finding, male and female comparison, and then we have BF, base factor, and then we compare city, county, and rural. So we also have the evidence that city is better than country and then better than rural. So this is the inter interpretation. So like similar with frequencies analysis, male is better than female, why it happened. So we, we, we know that uh, gender is not the main predictor of the kindergarten level of scientific inquiry process in Turkey. So in Turkey, gender is basically similar. They say that it's not the main predictor, but in our case in China, they are the main predictor. They are um, significant. And then the city, country, and ruler, they also say that in China, there are gaps in education performance and something like that. So this is our future direction. So we want to perform Bayesian approach in all research that we have. So last month we invite professor from usa uh, to teach us how to perform bayesian approach in our research and then this is uh using tsp software is our current research so i'm using just research software because it's the easy things to perform bayesian and then our the third we want to use our language to analyze the data. This is the recommendation book, Bayesian statistic and then statistical rating. I think that's all from my presentation. All right. Yeah. So actually, you know, the, 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 the tool is actually open very recently, since 2016. Mm -hmm. So very recent, you know, a long, long time ago, you know, when I published some paper, you know, using probability, you know, all these things. You know, if you look, if you read the classic paper by Cohen, right? In 1990,